Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? Hey, today we're going to go over the plugin, uh, the audio statistics. And this is going to show us if we have met the requirements for the ACX. Okay? Now I'm just going to run you through the process real quick as far as the plugins that I have. I've got a gate, an EQ, I've got a compressor on the actual track. Now on the master track, I have another compressor. I have the master limiter, the DC filter, and then the audio statistics. Okay? So this file is from Marco. Marco is from Florence, Italy, and this is an Italian. Now I don't speak Italian, but I was playing this file the other day that he sent me. He's a member up there in our community, and we were going over some questions with the ACX. Now, when I got this file originally, it came in like a negative, uh, I want to say 32, 33 lofts. And I simply uh, came over once I analyzed it, right mouse, click, or right mouse clicked it, and then normalized it to a negative 18. And that's what gave us this number. Okay. Now, the ACX does not have a loudness range requirement. The uh, AES for podcasting has a 4 dB max. So that's why I'm using these particular compressors. I like to keep that in that range, somewhere close to that 4 dB. Okay. So, like I said, I've got the gate going, I've got the EQ. Now, on the EQ, we don't need that anymore. On his high pass, I have him down around a negative 36.7. He has a very, very low voice. Now, over here uh, on the second band, I've got him raised uh, just 1.6 dBs. And then over around the 4,800 to 5,000, it's uh, reduced. And, and this is simply just kind of like DSing. Uh, this is the range that most people will have a problem with syllabus. So uh, this is just something that I do. Okay, you don't have to do it. It's just what I do. And then over to the compressor again. And I've got this set on more mastering. And I'm going to show you why I have these set up. And you need to set these up in the proper order. Now, the master limiter is default here at the negative 3. I've got it set for the uh, negative 3.5 uh, total loudness, total peak, okay? Because that's what the ACX, they want a negative 3 dB max. So it can be a negative 3.5, negative 4, negative 5. But if you look at these peaks right here, this is what we're going to tame down with the compressors. And then I have the DC filter, which is no programming whatsoever. There's no preset. You just simply engage it. This is the last thing that goes on the chain. Okay, now the audio statistics, even though you see it there, the DC filter is the last working plug-in as far as altering the audio. So let's go ahead and bring up the audio statistics. And you're going to notice right off the bat, the first two items are user input. Now, the 300 here is just how fast this window is going to show you the, the lines, the, where the, the volume's at. And the RMS meter, the minimum, is a negative 30. You can leave both these preset guys, okay? It, it's, it doesn't affect anything. And then you'll notice we have one, two, three, four that deals with the left-hand channel. And then it just repeats itself that deals with the right-hand channel. Then we have what is our peak levels. And then we have what our RMS total loudness range is. And then we have our DC offset. Now, remember, with the ACX, it's a negative 3 dB max. The RMS level needs to be between a negative 18 and a negative 23. And again, they have no requirement for the DC offset. I just like to do things prim and proper. So let's go ahead and play this file. And let's listen to it and see what this meter is showing us, this plugin. Rassegnazione. Non posso purtroppo 
Ho un appuntamento con il presidente di una delle società che avevano intenzione di lasciarci dopo i problemi con Zander. Devo convincerlo a restare. Jamie sospirò, si sedette sul letto e si alzò. Non avrebbe voluto lasciare quel tepo. Ok, now as you can see right here, it's coming in a little loud. Remember, the closer you get to zero, the louder it gets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my last compressor. And we'll just pull this out of the way. Now I'm going to back off this output. I'm going to put this to zero. I'm just going to double click it. And let's bring up the audio statistics again. We're going to go back to the beginning and let's watch it now. I want this number right here to be around a negative 20, negative 20.5. Il boss per sempre di Lexi Teams Capitolo primo Dovresti prendere appuntamento con il dottor Bennett, le disse Alex. Il suo respiro le accarezzò l'orecchio quando le parlò. Jamie riusciva a sentire il suo petto alzarsi ed abbassarsi ritmicamente. Ok, now we're still not quite there. So I'm going to come over to my other compressor. And I'm going to take the makeup gain and I'm going to put it back to zero. And now let's watch it again. Il boss per sempre di Lexi Teams. Capitolo primo. Dovresti prendere appuntamento con il dottor Bennett, le disse Alex. Il suo respiro le accarezzò l'orecchio quando le parlò. Okay, now as you can see, we're, we're, we're dialing this in real close. And guys, like I always tell you, you've got to play with your plugins. Okay, so let's go ahead and render this file. We're going to call it Marco. It's going to come back into my Reaper project. I do not need the tail on it, so I've unchecked this box. It's the master mix. It's mono. 192 kbps. Now this is an ACX requirement. We can go stereo or mono, but we're going to go mono. Now the sample rate is 44,100 hertz. That's a requirement. Now we're going to check this box so it adds it back into Reaper. We're going to bring up the audio statistics again. And we're going to say render one file. Move it out of the way. It's going to say overwrite, and we're going to say yes. And now we're going to watch this meter with this and just watch what it shows us. Now, guys, this is going to take just a few minutes, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and pause this video, and then we'll come right back to it right before it finishes. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're getting to the end of the audio here, so let's just go ahead and keep watching these two meters. Now, as you can see up here, it's showing us we have a uh, total peak of a negative 3.4. Over here, it's showing us we have a negative 3.35, definitely close enough for government work. Our DC offset is a zero, which is absolutely beautiful. Our RMS is a negative 20, so we're dead center of the negative 18 to the negative 23. We're very, very close. Now, up here, the RMS window current, okay? The L, uh, the, the minimum here, the RMS window minimum, 101.32, that's our noise floor. Now, remember the ACX, a negative 60 maximum, and yet we're at a negative 101.32. Now, most meters would show this as infinity, okay? So we like this. We, we have now met every single parameter. So we're going to go ahead and hit close, and let's watch what it does. I've got to move this window back just a little bit. So you can see the difference in our waveform now. Remember the peak? See the, the peak we have right here? See how it's a much even now uh, as we go across? So let's go ahead and come up now to extensions and loudness. And we're going to analyze this selected track. And let's see about our loudness range. 
And, and that's truly the only thing that I'm wanting to check here. And this is going to take just a second, so we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here we are with our negative 20.2. Now, our loudness range went from a 7 dB level to a 4.7. Our true peak is a negative 3.2. So we're going to highlight this track, right mouse click it. We're going to open this up in Audacity. Now, with Audacity, it's going to want to do two other things. I'm going to cancel that. I don't need to remove the DC offset. I don't need to normalize it because I've already done that with Reaper. So since we're 16 minutes, it won't let me analyze the entire track. That'd be too much information. So we're going to use the ACX check on this part of it. And we'll see what it says. Past, past, past. You see the numbers here, guys? They're very, very close to what we just looked at. Look at the noise floor. Okay. Now it's saying the DC offset. You've got to remember, guys, uh, I'm going to go with Reaper on this as far as it being zero, but this is uh, when you get to the, the right hand side of that negative, you know, that decimal, those are uh, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So it's saying that it's 61 thousandths of a dB. Off. And uh, it, it's, it's just incredible. You, you're not going to be able to detect it. So we say, okay. And now let's go over and let's check the other side of our file. Now see here the noise floor, again, is showing infinity. Past, past, the noise floor here, infinity. And, and this is what I was talking about before. Once you get past that negative 90 dBs, you just can't hear it. And that's why these, these meters are registering it as infinity. Okay? That's what Reaper does, guys. So as you can see, when we go back to the audio statistics now, we don't need that. There's our numbers. Okay? And that's how you tell. There's our noise floor. There is our true peak. There is our RMS level, which are all within the parameters for the ACX. All right. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.